Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this picture on Facebook and said they were at a science, child science fair, lab, camp, whatever. And they thought this was a pretty neat project. And it, it would be for young children to build. Uh, a couple things wrong with this picture. Uh, they didn't stand their work. And that, uh, to me, it looks terrible. I don't, nothing ever leaves my shop ever looking like that, unless it was going to be, I don't know. So, I thought I'd make some real quick, because this would be a good, uh, boxes are a little difficult, this would be easy, a first time Corel Draw user could build this, I, I made these in just a matter of minutes, but we're going to start out with the circle, I made them three inches, I don't know what size these are, but three inches would be a good size. Uh, maybe two. And the one thing about the squares and the rectangles, I would round off the corners like they have, which is a pretty good idea. Uh, so the sharpness of their hands. So I'm just going to go point two roundness, point two roundness. And then that way the little sharp little points won't stick in their hands. But the circle, hit P and put it in the center of the page. Your tab, which is going to be the cutout part, I've learned a lot of, I've cut a lot of tabs, and I made this tab 1.25 by 0.35, just to make it easy for the video. And you could, you could play around that and see what you like on the width. But before you do anything, you need to test your couple of cuts, because you're going to lose a little, you know, if your plywood is 0.125, and you try to stick it on a piece of plywood one time, it might be too tight. But basically, you're going to be putting cuts into cuts. You're going to be doubling up the, the amount of wood that's gone. So 1.25 would be a good start. So I've got my center parts selected. And before I do anything, I'm going to make a duplicate of that inner part. So I'll have it later. And we need to use it again. So I'm going to select my center part. Hold down the shift key and select my top part. And I'm going to hit T as in time to put it at the top of the page. Now, this thing is really pretty easy. Control D and make a duplicate. Double click on that X and bring it to the center till it says center. Rotate it 45 degrees to get your 8 facets. Now remember we kept a copy so we're done. Grab it all. Instead of welding this time we're going to back minus front. Whoop. That didn't work. Let's go front minus back. There we go. Then this is actually really good and welded and don't have to do anything to it. I would I always smart feel. One I get to see what it looks like and two Sometimes it'll knock out nodes, but that's not totally necessary when you're doing this. The square is probably the easiest. P, put it in the center of the page. P, put it in the center of the page. This is why I love the Smart Fill tool. Select that, hold down the shift, hit T. I've selected everything. I don't have to group it. Control D and make a duplicate. Rotate it 45 degrees. Whoop. Well, I'm sorry. Ro rotate it 90 degrees. Control D, Control D. That quick you drew that square. Now keep in mind you've already tested your cuts, so they're all going to fit if they if it does fit. One of the ones I didn't do in the previous video or previous when I was just seeing if I could make these is I did not do the half circle. So let's do that one right now, and because I did mine a little bit different, I have four and there's not. In the picture, I think there's one half circle setting right there, and there's only three notches. So that could uh, be done just as easily, or you could do four. But the only thing, if you're using this for a foot, you're not going to have one stand straight up. And one thing I did not do is I did not save a copy of my... Cut out, but there it is right there. 
so you can back up and get it. Matter of fact, I'm going to make a couple of duplicates on it just so I won't forget it again. That'll be probably too many, but that'll work. So let's do a half of a moon, half of a circle, and make that one. Let's go to three inches. If you have your ratio locked right here, you only have to change one number. Hit P and put it in the center of the page. Take your two-point line holding down your control button. Hit P, put it in the center of the page. And this is where the Smart Field Duel does help you. There you go. You've got half of a circle. You don't have to worry about anything. It's basically welded together, complete. We'll get rid of these lines in this part. Let's hit P and put it in the center of the page. Let's take and hit P and put it in the center of the page too. Let's let's grab another one, then we'll zoom in. Grab our interior. Hold down the shift key, grab our exterior, and then this time hit B as in boy. Then hit P, put it at the top, or put it in the center. Shift, hold down, hit T as in Tom. Now this time we want to rotate this thing. The center should be like right in there, and it might have been easier to keep the whole circle, but I think this will still work, because this is not how I did it when I was making them before. Control D and make a duplicate of it. Move your rotation in the center there, the midpoint. Let's see if it rotates, and it does. So, if this is, let's see if it's at zero and this is at 90 degrees, we just need a 45. So, just put it in there close and go 45. Control D, move it up. Whoop, I didn't put the rotation to the center. So, this ought to be, and this is something. Now, this would be easy, but you can go 360 minus 45. Let Corel do the math. I knew it was 315, but if it was some odd number, let's back up here. I just typed in 360 minus 45. And there you go. Now, this time, let's try back minus front. And it did it. Worked. We're almost done. Um, the rectangle is a little bit more difficult, but it's still fun. It's where math gets involved. I made it six inches long and three inches, so I don't know what they actually are. I want to hit P, hold down the shift, grab them both, hit T. Now this is in the center. Let's use our parallel dimension tool. Go from the center of that notch to the outside. We have three inches. Okay. We want to, we want four slots. So we want to change our nudge factor to one, one inch. Control D and make a duplicate. Control D and make a duplicate. Control D and make a duplicate and move it over. Control D and make a duplicate. Now we have four. That's not what we want. We really want five. Or, no, excuse me. We have five. We want four. Let's take away the center one. Okay, these aren't equal, right? Select them all. Go up to a range. Uh, align and distribute. Go down to align and distribute. You're going to hit Control Shift A. And let's distribute those things right there. Now we have four equally. Now this is what I still like about the Smart Fill tool. Select all of this, Control D, and flip it. Use your Smart Fill tool. You have all four pieces drawn that quick. But I got to stress, please test your cuts before you do them. Um, it won't do any good if they don't fit. I even would test them, sand them, put them together. Because your sand is going to take a little bit of the thickness out. But it doesn't really matter in this case because you've got double. So if you use 1.25, you should work. 
Now, a little bit about sanding these small pieces. Before you pick them up in the laser, let's just delete all these. Let's move these into the laser bed and let's cut them out. Before you even pick them up, before you pick them up out of the laser bed, or move your wood, take a piece of blue masking tape and tape them down. Bring them out of the laser, turn it upside down, and sand them with a random orbital sander. Wooden tape, you could do this 10 or 12 discs in less than 30 seconds. Flip it over or put another piece of tape on your new sanded item, flip it over and take that tape off and sand it again. You could sand those pieces in no time and it would look 10 times better than that. And uh, if somebody's watching and you made these, I apologize, but uh, I just don't like it. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.